Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Today, I'm going to be revealing my secrets that I have for all of you. Um, but first, I want to welcome you guys. I'm so excited to see all of your new faces here on my page. And thank you for, you know, joining in. And hi, Irit. Um, and today, I want to share with you my secret. But first, I know there's a lot of new people. They're like, who is this crazy person? Um, my name is Tony. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I homeschool, and I have five kids and my husband's a firefighter. So, you know, there are days that I am, you know, single parenting it. So I want you to know that, you know, you don't have to, you know, have it all together to, you know, reach your goals, to reach your dreams, whether it's with fitness or a business, or maybe it's just some new habit that you want to do. I'm here to tell you that you can do it. And that is why I started this page is to inspire other women just like you to stop you know, putting it off until tomorrow. Today is the best day to get started on your dreams and your goals. So um, let's get right to it, right? Um, if you need help, if you need support, reach out. That is what I'm here for. Because you know what? It is not fun to do this alone, right? So um, I want to thank you. A lot of you were commenting yesterday on what is my big secret. And, you know, I want to just give you a little bit of backstory on before I reveal. So stay with me, all right? I won't keep you long, um, but have you ever felt like, you know, you just weren't living your life's purpose? You know, have you ever felt like, you know, you were made for something more and you're not actually doing what you wanted to do or you feel that burning inside and you're like, you know what, I just, I know there's more out there, but how do I do it? Because maybe you are, you know, like I have been for years, a stay-at-home mom. You know, the last time I worked in the workforce um, was about 12 years ago. And so, you know, you kind of lose that identity. And I personally have a huge passion for fitness. And my dream was always to own my own gym, do personal training, and really specialize in helping women to reach their goals. And the reason was because when I was 18, I worked at a local gym. I lived in Kodiak, Alaska at the time. And it was Kelly's gym. So if anyone is listening knows Kelly's gym, woohoo. Um, anyways, and I was really hurt in a sense. And I saw all these men coming in. It didn't matter if it was in the morning or in the afternoon or the evening, but men would come and work out. You know, they'd do the elliptical or the treadmills we had at the time, lift weights, you know, do different classes. And the, it was men coming. And I was like, why are there very few women here? And I kept thinking, well, maybe it's because they don't really value themselves or maybe they don't see the importance of it. And right that day, I mean, I still remember, you know, sitting in that gym, deciding that that was my mission is to help other women to know that just because you're a mom doesn't mean that you can't be healthy. Just because you, you know, you're working a lot and you can't um, get to the gym, that there had to be a solution. And, you know, fast forward over 20 years <laughs> and I have found this opportunity where I am now in that position where I am the mom that can't get to the gym. I'm the mom who, you know, I can't fit it into my schedule. Hi, Jennifer. And so I was like, oh, I get it now. You know, it isn't always easy to, you know, just drop everything and go to the gym or to go to a fitness class. Hi, Tara. And so um, I was like, there's got to be a better way, right? Moms were not designed to, you know, stay at home with their kids, have babies and just get overweight and deal with depression and, you know, hide all these things inside, right? And I was like, there's got to be something. And lo and behold, I found at-home workouts. And I will tell you, I thought they were cheesy. I thought you thought that, you know, you can't really get a great workout at home because those are for people who aren't really serious. That is my belief and what I used to think. It was like, you know, if you're serious, you're going to go to the gym and you're going to like pump iron and you're going to like run on the treadmill and you're just going to be like, whoa, look at me, right? Well, that doesn't work for everybody, right? It didn't work for me, you know, just having baby number five and, you know, my hus husband is not always home, so it wasn't like I could go before he went to work or when he came home from work. It just didn't work. And I knew what had to be done. I knew I had to change my eating. Hi, Sarah. And I needed to get active. I was like, how do you do that when you're on a budget, you are, you know, so exhausted because you had a new baby and, you're fighting postpartum depression and you don't even recognize yourself anymore. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to try it. And 
as you have seen my pictures I've been sharing on my page that I've lost over 35 pounds and over 40 inches. And that is, you know, with my doctor telling me it'd be impossible to lose weight because you have Hashimoto's disease. And it would be easy for me to just, you know, take that little slap and say, you know what, it's, oh, I'm just going to be overweight. I'm just going to, because my doctor said this. Okay, if anyone tells you that you can't do something, let that be the fuel for your fire to keep fighting and reach those goals, all right? Don't let someone tell you it can't be done because I want you to tell them to watch me, all right? So, so this is how this all started, okay? It's my big secret that I have for you guys today is that it all started when I decided, you know what, I'm going to make some changes. And lo and behold, I was seeing results and then people started asking me what was I doing and and it just started snowballing and I run, you know, the Fit Mommy Makeover Accountability Group where we help other women, you know, on the same journey with meal prepping and recipes and workouts that fit for their lifestyle, you know, and their time constraints that they may have. So, um, so that is how I got to where I'm going to reveal my secret. But, you know, I've been, as being a stay-at-home mom, you may know that sometimes you feel like you just wish you were providing more. You wish that, you know, you can contribute a little to the income, right? That is how I felt for a long time. I felt like I wasn't doing my part. Yes, I was taking care of the kids, you know, doing their homeschooling, you know, all of those things that I felt um, I needed to do, but I always felt like, well, if I could just earn a little extra income, and um, this really, this burden always comes around birthday time and Christmas time, and this is the deal. I don't know about you, um, but sometimes it feels like a little awkward to ask your husband who's the sole income earner that's what it is in our family and I would say well can I borrow some money or have some money um, to buy you a birthday present or to buy you a Christmas present right and then he would say well why don't I just buy it myself and so I you don't want to buy it with your debit card you don't want to buy it where he can see where you're shopping things like that and so um, that's been something where I wanted to feel like I was making a difference, where I was, you know, being able to live my life's purpose, you know, being the mom and the homeschool mom, but also inspiring other women to live their best life, you know, to beat that postpartum depression, to, you know, be able to wear whatever you want to the holiday um, parties coming up and f be confident in those family pictures that you're going to be having done. And so by doing that, this is my secret. Yesterday, I went shopping with the kids. We went out, did a little Christmas shopping, and this is the first time ever that I've been able to pay for my husband's Christmas present all on my own due to my hard work as a coach and helping other women you know, succeed. I was able to pay for his gifts and not be like, um, I need to borrow some money from you. You know, maybe you were in the same situation. Maybe you're like, you know, I just really need to help contribute somehow. You know, I just really need, um, I don't feel like I'm living my purpose, right? If that's you, I want to invite you to come and join me on, uh, I think it's Tuesday the 20th. I'm let mess up on my days. So it's on the 20th. I'm doing a private group. We're kind of giving you the ins and outs of what I do, you know, do it from home with a busy schedule, but making a difference in my family's life, allowing, you know, to do things that, you know, other people, say, well, you can't do that because you're a stay-at-home mom. So um, that is my secret, and I'm so excited to be able to share that and, you know, just make that contribution to our family. And let me tell you, it was such a huge blessing in my heart to feel like, you know what, I am able to do this for my husband, right? So um, that's what I have for you. Be sure that you guys join me on um the 20th to learn more about what it is that I do comment below um, I will reach out to you it's a private group um, there's no obligation you just come and see maybe this is for you maybe it's not that's okay all right I just want to help you to know that you know you don't have to be stuck where you are all right um, thanks for joining me guys and I'll talk to you later bye